Hello and welcome to a video where I look at how Marcello Bielsa would get on at all the other top six teams. The reason I'm doing this is I'm slightly curious about him. I have no real opinion of him, to be honest with you. It's sort of a, eh, he's there anyway, like. But the reason I think this is, he's obviously better than most other monitors who come up from the championship. He has an idea, he's been around the world, so probably hasn't learned the right bit. But at the same time, Leeds are doing... I don't think anything really spectacularly. They're definitely going a different way about it. Like, most teams come up and sit, go, I ah, will just go for the back, sit, try not to concede. And he's going, well, hell to this, we're attacking, we're playing like this, and that's it. Which is great to watch, it's sort of different, like. Most managers, as I say, just sit and defend, like. But he attacks the teams, he goes for it, and it seems to be working. Like, I think most Leeds fans would have went, eh, we'll just stay in the division this season, and will lose, and build on that. But, anyway, as I say, in this video, I'm just going to look at the idea of what happens if he manages all the, all the other top six teams. Well, the top six. And I'm going to compare it to each one as a season. They give myself an average, roughly. He managed one, and not have anything to do with any of the rest of them. So, for one season, he'd be managing Liverpool, Arsenal, United, whatever. And there'd be a default one where he manages Leeds. It's just a barometer of what happens, really. So we'll head on here now, get into the video, and hopefully you end up enjoying it. So the way I went about this experiment is to sort of use the editor, click it, and just move Bielsa down our club. I'll do Arsenal here, for example. Obviously, whenever I'm doing leads, I wouldn't actually do this itself like but start to Arsenal Arsenal Football Club in the Premier League that's it make him the manager then you do that get the message here be else as Arsenal manager and then it just go on ahead the season holiday till June of 2021 so pick the fifth since it's on the Saturday anyway just see how it fares out and that's how it on it go on the holiday and I'm going to cut this one off before we start. I actually did go in and check the average position of the Premier League to get the big six. And no, Leicester have not been bigger than Arsenal. For Arsenal have an average position of 5.2. And Leicester have an average position of 7.2. There seems to be an argument at the minute that Leicester should be in the big six and not Arsenal. Which, going off the last five seasons, is bollocks as proof there. I will concede, however, I did think, seeing myself, whenever I first looked at it, I never actually realised Le Leicester had come ninth two years in a row, and 12th, so... Actually, also on that, you're talking about Liverpool having the worst Premier League defence of all time. That happened. Like, that, surely that has to be it. But, uh, all in personal opinions as hey, like, that's, that's how I've done the experiment, so we're going to head now in to see the results of it. So I'm going to go through these results season by season and just give the overall result at the end. So the first season, Bielsa was managing Leeds. Leeds ended up finishing 13th, which is probably about where they would expect it to finish, to be honest with you. They got 37 points, which mm, wasn't great. Wasn't above the 40, wasn't above 40, but uh, it was enough to see them safe enough, like, so it was alright. And the manager wasn't sacked, so apart from that, the top four was City... Liverpool, Chelsea and United and seemed to run right to the end between Liverpool and City and flipping Arsenal near got in the top four as well surprised but eh, Spurs were a mile off from sixth and the European trophies Keisha Wondering were Inter Milan won the Champions League and Napoli won the Europa League the FA Cup was won by Everton and pretty good news itself is that Leeds won the Carabao Cup so Bielsa started off winning something Year three has in the first season didn't do too well in the league points ways, but all in that it seems to do all right. But uh, that's Bielsa at Leeds in the first season done, so we'll see how he fares out come the second one. For the second season, Bielsa managed in Arsenal. I've just went through these teams in alphabetical order. He finished up coming sixth with 61 points, which eh, isn't great. It was behind last season, and he's quite a bit away from the top, the rest of the top six actually. That's it, like, didn't do too well. And just for a side note here, 
leads, as you can see, come 15th with 42 points. Just a side note here, or just another side note here, actually, it'll be a recurring theme here, but Big Sam actually took over the Leeds job and was sacked and replaced by some fella, Abelardo, who I've never heard of. He seems to steady the boat alright, pulls him away from relegation. They actually do get over the 40 point mark this team, which, fair enough, la. that's it, Leeds, safe enough, the worse position ways, but actually better off points ways. And just before we go, the European trophies were Barcelona won the Champions League, Atalanta won the Europa League, and the English ones, Man City won the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, and Liverpool won the Community Shield. They also won the last Community Shield, I don't know if I mentioned that, they're not. so that's Bielsa at Arsenal, not overly spectacular like, but uh, we'll see how he, how he gets on. For season 3, Bielsa's at Chelsea and comes fifth, which isn't great, with 72 points, which again is not good, although he's just outside the top 4, he's keeping that run right till the end of the season. He also wasn't sacked, but he didn't do overly really well. But there is a piece in using this, he did actually win the FA Cup with Chelsea, so there's that. That might have been an effect come the end of the season. I don't know if they dropped off because of it or whatever, like, it seems alright, but uh, not over the year yet. In terms of the European trophies, Man City actually won the Champions League in this one, which wasn't surprising, I suppose, they had to win at some stage, like. And Inter Milan, Champions League winners, whenever Bielsa managed Leeds, actually won the Europa League in this one. And just before we go on ahead, as I say, Chelsea won the FA Cup, Man United won the Carabao Cup. And this is the only save where Arsenal actually win the Community Shield. That's season 3, don't know why. And one more detail, yet again, for Leeds fans, Big Sam takes over. It's probably why you finished 17th, to be honest with you, like. But now, uh, Big Sam takes over, he's sacked again. And this team is replaced by Addy Howe. Seems to be a recurring trend if Bielsa gets sacked to bring in Big Sam, which is about the opposite of what you could probably do, tactic ways. So, <laughs> see how that gets on throughout the whole lot too. There's a bit of a subplot in order of all this. At season 4, Bielsa's managing Liverpool in this one, and he comes second, quite a bit away from Man City. They're 9 points down. There is a reason for that, I think, but we'll gloss over it for the time being. Next, he just about comes second. Chelsea and Arsenal just in behind them. This is the most surprising one, probably, for a position for Arsenal actually come third. Which is an achievement, really. Like, but Spurs and United are fifth and sixth. Quite a bit outside the top four as well, actually. And Leeds end up coming ninth in this one, just while we're here, with 53 points. And yet again, Big Sam takes over. This is one of two where he doesn't actually get sacked. Yes, there is at least another one save where Big Sam takes over. He doesn't actually get sacked in this one, finishes ninth, and does quite well. The league winners, or the FA Cup winners, sorry, were Man City, the Carabao Cup winners from Man City. Bielsa actually won the community sheet with Liverpool and the Europa League was won by Napoli but here's why I think they fell off in the league is that Bielsa actually won the Champions League with Liverpool in this one. He has ended up winning the Champions League at some point which is an achievement that I didn't really expect. Fair play now. It's the Champions League with Liverpool. It's a whole lot going on. It's been pretty well. It's I actually supported Liverpool and would take that season, to be honest. Particularly as the current season isn't going too well. We'll head on here now for the next one. For the next one, he's managed in Mon City, and there's no other way to say this, he's done shite. Mon City are third. They shouldn't become on third. Like, I suppose it's understandable, and there's only three points off winning the league, which was won by Chelsea. Surprisingly, like so, nah. We'll see how we get on here now, but it's flicking through, and it's... Chelsea, Liverpool and Man City all fairly tight come the end of the whole lot. Three points in it. Actually, just looking at the table here now, Leeds actually get relegated in this one. Which isn't great, le, with 31 points. Again, not spectacular. As the current trend seems to be, Big Sam took over as Leeds manager and was sacked. And replaced again by Eddie Howe, who couldn't save the season. Leeds is relegated in this one. In terms of the European trophies, Juventus won the Champions League and Lazio won the Europa League. Which, I think Lazio won the Champions League, so they must have dropped into it. The FA Cup was won by United, fair enough. The Carabao Cup was won by Arsenal and the 
community shield won by Liverpool. So that's that season done. There's not really much there. Like he come third, didn't do well. And this is probably his worst season overall, to be honest. But we'll head on here now to season six, which is I'm taking over United. As I said there about two seconds ago in the video, he took over United for this season and finished fifth on the table, which isn't great, but but he has got a decent amount of points, 75, like Liverpool come fourth, 77, and Spurs were third and 79. So he wasn't far outside it. Even Chelsea were second and 80. Like. It's a fairly tight season, this one. He's come fifth there, but it's not overly bad. Looking around the table, Leeds come 10th, which is surprisingly well. I think most Leeds fans would actually take that with 51 points. It was done very well there, actually. This is the only one where Big Sam didn't take over. It was actually Michael O'Neill from Stoke who took over this one to get 10th. Fair enough, he done alright there, like. In terms of the English Cups, Chelsea won the FA Cup. Burnley, of all teams, won the Carabao Cup. <laughs> Liverpool won the Europa League. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just, I don't know why I'm laughing at the fact Burnley winning the Carabao Cup's a bit funny, like. I don't know why I laughed at that, but, uh. In terms of the Champions League, Bayern Munich won the Champions League and. And United actually won the Europa League with Bielsa, like, so, mm, he done well there, actually, did I? Now I think about it, I don't think he did, for United, or in the Champions League this season. Ah, uh, he didn't do well with United in Europe. <laughs> they shouldn't really have been in the Europa League in the first place. But, uh, he ended up winning it, so, he's come fifth, but got back into the Champions League, so, far enough. Now I think about it, that's probably the only, re the only reason he kept his job. So, we'll get on, see how he does with Spurs in the last season. So we're here now, Bielsa's won in Spurs in the last season. It finished 6th, which wasn't great, on 64 points. He's well away from the whole outlet. Just to point out how far he is off winning the league or anything, he's actually nearer Leeds, I think, than he is qualifying for the Champions League. So that's a bad measurement there. Oh that, he comes 6th, 64 points, wasn't great. But to be honest, looking at this, I don't know how he wasn't sacked the particular season. It's a weird one, like for Liverpool to come fourth as well. I don't think they had any particular major injuries. So, uh, I don't know what happened here. But the only other one really is that Leeds actually come eighth in this simulation with 55 points. Leeds were nine points off Europe. Pretty well done, not there, like. Leeds were managed by Big Sam, sorry. And it works out alright. He does eighth, does quite well. I don't actually know what Leeds, if Big Sam adapts Leeds' way of playing or if he forces the Leeds into playing his way. I presume Leeds are now playing his way in these, which would be shite. He gets some deal, that's it. Just in the European spots, the Champions League was won by Chelsea. The Europa League was won by Napoli. United won the FA Cup, Man City won the Carabao Cup, and Liverpool won the Community Shield. I'm looking at these results, just overall block as a set of results, and there's a few weird things about this. The first one is, in terms of Bielsa's performance at teams, the only team he actually improves position ways compared to the average, which is what this column is, is actually Liverpool. They average 2.4, 2.5, and he guarantees them second the season he managed them. I think this is probably because if you were to look at how Bielsa's Leeds team plays and compare it to all the top six, the only one that sort of even has the players will probably be able to half, half have a decent go at it is Liverpool. So it's not as much of a stretch for Liverpool to do it as every other team. But again, that's sort of offset again by the fact Leeds do worse in the season he manages them compared to everybody else. Although it's quite near. I would also like to point out looking at this here now that United do slightly better points wise. I uh, don't actually have an explanation for that to be honest. But it's a bit out there like these two seasons here seem to affect more than anything. Or it drops, although, looking at this, these results now, United are frighteningly consistent. They've been scored 70-something points every time. They have, which is weird. It seems to just sort of operate in their own steam, like. But I think the fact every other team does worse is that they would have to have a bit of a time to adjust to be out of style, which is why it doesn't really sort of do well here. And Liverpool would have the easiest adjustment, which is why I think they perform slightly better. The second thing to note really is the prevalence of Big Sam in this experiment it was weird. How in every every team be a, a puppy else somewhere else bar once he takes over. 
normal, which would not happen in real life. I think I said it in one of the one of the seasons that it would be a complete opposite twist stateways to put Be- Big Sam in after Bielsa left. So it would be. I actually think Michael O'Neill probably would be a better change out of the two, since he's the only Augie he takes over. Another thing was Eddie Howe took over twice from him, which was weird. He makes me think he actually must have had a job in the season where Bielsa managed Arsenal, but it wasn't him. Just the final thing I note is that, well, in terms of English football, is the amount of trophies he won. He won five, I think I have there. That's including the Community Shield, by the way, at Liverpool. But they only don't win it once, so maybe shouldn't really include that one. But I uh, seem to do all right. Seems to be a decent collector of trophies, like. In seven seasons, he has won at least one. So, seems all right if he sticks to the team, like he might win something. And actually, why I'm talking here, just in terms of European football, the Champions League winners weren't really weird. Chelsea maybe being the biggest title there in that one. Actually, Inter Milan now, I think about two, like. But the prevalence of Italian teams in the Europa League was weird. I don't know what, I don't even have an answer for what caused that, to be honest with you, like. It just sort of happened. So, in general, Bielsa seems to do worse at most teams, but he improves at Liverpool. I do think if I give him like two or three years, he would improve teams. You know, he would eventually build Arsenal above what is the perfect position of fifth average ways. It doesn't happen immediately because it's such a style change differently from him to basically everybody else. So, that's it. Thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe and all that. And goodbye, good luck, and I wish you well.